observations with Robert Meyer Burnett. Let's talk about the Snyder Cut. This comes from Michael Johnson. This is just a very small one, very small, quick, to the point. With the Snyder Cut coming out, there's three other movies I think should get a second shot. The first is Tim Pope's (laughs) Crow sequel, City of Angels. Second is Kill Bill, The Whole Bloody Affair. And last, of course, is David Ayer's Suicide Squad. That comes in from Michael Johnson. Well, now that's 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 very interesting. First of all, I have seen Kill Bill, the whole bloody affair. It exists. I saw it at the New Beverly, so you can watch it from beginning to end. That's that. What that is, it's Kill Bill one and two put together into one film. It's called Kill Bill, the whole bloody affair. It's got some different little things in it, but it exists. There is a, a negative for it, some kind of negative that uh, they made a print off of it, so it exists, uh, and it was great. I loved it. And it didn't feel long at all, actually, when I watched it. Now, Tim Pope's The Crow City of Angels. Now, I don't know much about the history of... I. Tim Pope, who did a lot of photography for, like, The Cure and album covers and things like that, directed that film. I hated The Crow City of Angels. As a matter of fact, I didn't just hate it. I hated it with every fiber of my being. And that's not to take... That's not to take something away from Mr. Pope. I just... I, I thought the movie wasn't very good. I didn't like it at all, but that's okay. Um, I, I, so I don't know, is there, was it interfered with? Maybe it was worth doing from my perspective. I would be very hard pressed to be convinced that that needs to be reconstituted. And last of course is David Ayer's Suicide Squad. Now, as you've talked about on the show, Suicide Squad was deeply, deeply, deeply compromised by a studio, Warner Brothers, that got cold feet. And both Batman v Superman, Justice League, and Suicide Squad suffered because of studio, well, fear. Um, they didn't know, they they lost faith in their filmmakers, and they, they took both movies away from the directors, both Justice League and Suicide Squad. And to a certain extent, Batman v Superman was meddled with after the fact because the studio mandated a certain length for the film, so... It had to be cut down. But, you know, again, would Dave, David Ayer's cut of Suicide Squad be any better? I, I don't know. I do know that with Justice League, there was a clear demarcation point between the originator of that franchise and Joss Whedon, who took over. So it makes sense to have a Snyder cut. I don't know if Suicide Squad, because Suicide Squad was not, Suicide Squad did okay. I mean, for a, a property that people don't know, it did okay at the box office. Um, so I don't know if we'll ever get an air cut of Suicide Squad because it did, it made what, 700 something million dollars. Although I'd like to see that because I, I, I found that movie incredibly difficult to watch because it's edited with chainsaw. I, I couldn't get past it. It was just awful. So maybe, but I just don't look, I think the Snyder cut is unique unto itself. There's a whole slew of reasons why I believe that. And you guys probably all know most of them. But I think that, yes, it is a, um, uh, I don't think it's par for the course. I, I, I don't like it as a precedent. I think it's unique to the Snyder Cut. I don't think every movie should suddenly, well, what about the cut of this? Or what about the cut of that? A lot of, and most, by the way, most movies wind up in the theater. Like, look, Tango Shalom, if I can mention Tango Shalom, my own movie that I produced and edited. When we were editing it, we took out a lot of stuff. We honed it down, and I will tell you, the movie of, that you're going to see, If you, by the way, if you live in the San Diego area, you can virtually see Tango Shalom at home if you go to the San Diego International Jewish Film Festival. Anyone who lives in the San Diego area right now can watch Tango Shalom, and then in a couple days, if you live near on or near Charlotte, North Carolina, I don't know how far out it's geo-blocked, but you can sign up and see Tango Shalom there. But the version of Tango Shalom that we made it's the best version of the film. I mean, for what it is, there's there's no way we could have made it better. We it is the definitive version of the movie. So uh, it depends. I mean, it depends. I, I think that the Suicide Squad thing doesn't need to happen. 
I don't know. Is the film that significantly different? I think the thing about the, the Snyder Cut, the thing that's different about the Snyder Cut is you had Man of Steel and Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, and then it was leading into Justice League, and half of it was done by Zack Snyder, and he was replaced. And it it it, it finishes a trilogy. It's, it's part of a, a triptych. And it has been, up to this point, unfinished because the Justice League that came out is such a deeply compromised vision that I think everybody would rather have the Snyder Cut, if only so you can watch Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, and the Snyder Cut and see if it holds together as a trilogy. I think that's all part of the appeal. So I think it's unique. It's not like everybody, everybody's not going to have that situation. So, and I, and I think that needs to be sort of understood because a lot of people think, well, we're going to have cuts of all these different movies. But I don't, I don't think one all, all, movies warrant them and I think it's I think it's um, uh, I, I think the Snyder Cut is unique